We'll take the bottom floor. Otis. Look out! Help! Now swing the ladder. Copy that. Get me down from here. This clown. Last winter we have a guy literally lay across his entire family to save him, and he can't get out that window fast enough. Oh God, is she breathing? I'll get a line in. I'll get the airway. You can meet us at Chicago Met. Hey. Nice save. I'd like to throw the husband back through the window. What's up, Rock? Check it out. I thought she was down, and something inside me was screaming out, do something. Do something, you know? So I picked up the heaviest thing I could find, and I threw it through the window, and I yelled out, over here, over here. The fire was out of control at that point, and all I could think was, I have to help my wife. The smoke was so thick, <laughs> I was choking on it, and anyway, oh, I'm just thrilled I could help alert those guys and save my wife in time. And this was the scene earlier, where the Chicago Fire Department arrived just in time to save Veronica Carlisle, but not quickly enough to save the house. Compelling story, Glenn. Glad there's still some local heroes this time of year. In other news... Oh, compelling story, Glenn. Sir, could you uh, tell us exactly what happened? Oh, uh, of course, Dwight. Uh, well, um, my house was on fire, and I nearly wet myself, so I barreled out of a window, nearly killing a fireman while leaving my poor wife to die. Oh. <laughs> we should call the station and tell our side of the story. Who cares? Let the guy say what he wants. Too easy. Well, you look at this. Is that the husband? Yeah. Can I help you? Uh, I think so. I was told you were the firefighters who rescued me and my wife. Yeah, we were there. Yeah. I just wanted to say thank you. I don't know if you saw the news, but they're telling people I was some sort of hero. <laughs> Which I know is the exact opposite of what I am. Uh... Okay. I'm Fred Carlisle. My wife's Veronica. She's still in ICU, but the doctors tell me there's hope. Again, thank you. I see the way you guys are looking at me. I know what you must be thinking. So I want you guys to know.
When I was 16, I was in the garage with my old man. And this kiln we had in there exploded. All I remember is waking up in the burn unit. I spent the next eight months in the ICU. It's when that fire broke out this morning. I panicked. Just I panicked. Hey, man, you don't have to explain yourself to us. I know, but I felt... Thanks for hearing me out. Yeah, no worries. And we're all pulling for your wife. Walk a mile, man. Walk a mile. <laughs> Slap the red X on it if it were up to me. You guys hear anything more from the wife? Uh, she's still in the burn unit. You guys know Dr. Kendra over there? Sometimes keeps me posted on things. Yeah, I know her. She's a lesbian. Interesting. All right, yeah, this place is done. Let's get it. What? Fire started here and here and there three different places at the same time. Son of a bitch. Call OFI and the CPD, will you? On it. That's him right there. Mr. Carlisle, you need to come with us. We've got some questions. Yeah, sure. You were burned yourself, buddy. How the hell could you do that to another person? Your own wife. <laughs> 